So the new topic is we are finding the value of trigonometrical function for minus theta. Minus theta means my question is if someone says sine of minus theta, what must be my answer? Cos of minus theta, what must be my answer? Tan of minus theta, what must be my answer? Means in place of angle theta, if I take minus theta, what changes comes in the trigonometrical ratio we should find out. This is again we have taken one circle whose radius is 1. Point is x comma y, so this is x and this is y. And as this angle taken in anti-clockwise direction, so we should say this angle is theta. Now, if I rotate this ray in this direction, and I'll make the diagram clear, then what changes will be there in this case? When you rotate this here, this angle was theta, then this will be minus of theta. This length will be minus y now x will remain same in both. So when you think about sine theta, when you take this as sine minus theta, what changes will be there? We should identify that. First result says if I take this triangle, I find out sine theta. Sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse, so it will come out to be y by 1. Now I'll take this triangle and angle this time is minus theta. So when you think about sine of minus theta, this is the angle. So this will be perpendicular and this will be hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is again 1. So we will say it will come out to be minus y by 1. Or I, could, I can say this as minus y, minus y. And what is y in this case? Sine theta only. So it will come minus of sine theta. So one thing we got here. Sine of minus theta, if someone writes, then minus should go out and you will get your result sine theta. So sine of minus theta, whenever it comes, it will come out to be minus sine theta. Second thing, if we go for cos, same thing we try for cos theta. That means about triangle. Base over hypotenuse, so it will come out to be x by 1. Now I'll take this triangle. Cos of minus theta. Base will be again x. It is no negative case this time by 1. So what I'm getting here, cos theta and cos of minus theta, are they same? So we should say whenever you write cos of minus theta, your result come out to be simply cos theta. So in cos of minus theta, this minus will be removed. No meaning of it. Sine of minus theta, it's minus sine. Same way we go for tan theta. When you take this triangle, tan theta is what? Perpendicular by base. Perpendicular by base we are taking. Then we should say tan of minus theta. When you go for this, this will be we are going to take. Tan theta is what? Perpendicular by base. This time perpendicular will be minus y, base will be x. So now check here. What is the difference between the two? This is coming minus y by x and what is y by x is simply tan theta. So it will come minus tan theta. So tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. So three more results you got now. Whenever I say sine of minus theta, it is minus sine theta. Tan of minus theta, minus tan theta. Only in cos, minus will remove. So that means now these are the three more results you should remember. That if sine of any negative angle comes, that minus goes out. This same result goes for cosec now because reciprocals are behaving same. Cosec of minus theta, it comes out to be minus of cosec. Sec of minus theta. This will behave as cos, so it will come out to be simply sec. And then 10 will be replaced by cot of minus theta it will come minus cot. So only these are the two results where minus will be removed. So if someone writes cos of minus 30 degree, you should need it or you should know it cos 30. By the way, if someone says sine of minus 30, then I should say minus goes out, it will be minus sine. 
same way if i go 10 of minus 45 what i should say minus 10 so now you should remember that minus in few cases goes out and few cases it will be removed what the cases it will be removed in lean cos and sec they will be removed and remaining four it will go out so this is another result we should remember now value of trigonometrical function when minus theta is there we have done that also now coming on next topic next topic says how the value of sine theta cos theta tan theta they are going to vary when you go from first quadrant to second second to third third to fourth how the value of sine theta changes is it going from 0 to 1 or it is going from 1 to infinity what it is we should identify that so one by one i am taking all the trigonometrical results and we are going to find out how the variation comes in their values first we will start with sine then cos then 10 then sec cosec these are also here i am going to discuss complete results about sine how variation in its value comes how the graph comes uh, what will be the shape of curve everything will be known to you after doing this so first we will be starting with sine theta so first one is sine theta is the first trigonometrical function we have is sine theta and we have to find out how it is going to vary this angle you know it is zero degree or zero radian this come out to be pi by two radian or it's 90 degree this already we have done 180 degree or pi radian this come out to be 270 degree and uh, 3 pi by 2 radian and this is come out to be 2 pi radian now when we think about sin theta sin theta when you calculate and here i am just putting the coordinates also 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi here i will go the go with the variation and that will be the diagram which will explain how the variation goes sin theta when i say it will be perpendicular by hypotenuse so it will be y by 1 or it should be y so whenever you think about sin theta one thing is clear that it is totally going to depend on y because hypotenuse remain 1 x is not at all in this case so we will say it is totally going to depend on y now when you think about this y when your angle goes from 0 to 90 or 0 to pi by 2 first case when it is very near to 0 this will be the diagram in this case y will be a very small value and when you reach here the y is 0 at this stage first time when you think about the first quadrant this is the first quadrant your theta 0 will be this line in this case you will find p and a will be same this is p and this is a also so in that case what you will say this perpendicular will be 0 or we will say in this case y will be 0 if y is 0 at this stage means at this stage y value is 0 so sin is also 0 as you go higher this angle if you increase as you increase this angle what you will find this value is becoming bigger and bigger and where it is approaching at this stage y is 1 so when you go to angle 90 when you reach here this is going nearer to 1 so when you go 0 to 90 degree when you reach to 90 what is the value of y will become that will become 1 so we will say the value will start from 0 and as it will increase y is going to increase here it is going to increase here it is going to increase here increase here increase here and ultimately this will touch here or we will say in this case the value will go from 0 to so when you go from this to this place y value is going between 0 and 1 it is also clear from here it will be going y is 0 here and it is going to be 1 when you go in third quadrant that is second quadrant sorry when you take this angle here then what changes will be here just check initially it is 1 here it is and when you go this side y is now reducing 
y is going to decrease now and at this stage what y will be now becoming zero so we should say when y here it is one from one it will start moving now y is decreasing and as it decreases it reach here at zero so we will say the y value will in this case goes from one to zero when you go in this quadrant the angle gone this way in this case what you will find at this point y is zero and when you go this side y is now increasing so it will go from zero now and when you go this side y is going towards minus 1 as you go this side y is increasing this is uh, some value negative this is negative this is negative but it is going higher and higher and it will be minus 1 here so here we will say 0 and this will go to minus 1 so value will start from 0 and it will go to minus 1 so in the second case it was 1 to 0 in third case it will gone from 0 to minus 1 in fourth case when you reach here what is y value minus 1 and when you go this side y is now reducing and where it will go it will go to 0 so it will start from minus 1 and it reaches to 0 so one thing is clear now where the sin theta is going to vary in different different quadrants we can check that the sin theta starts from 0 reaches to 1 so the value this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 when you think about the first quadrant the value starts from 0 from here it will start and when you reach to pi by 2 or 90 your value has gone to 1 second part it will start from 1 and it goes to 0 to so start from 1 means it will be starting from here and it will be reaching to 0 then it will go from third quadrant 0 to minus 1 so it is 0 again and it will now go to minus 1 minus 1 yes it will take the value and then minus 1 to 0 again so one thing we have decided sin theta always comes in this portion no value of sin theta exceed 1 and minus 1 we will say in this case sin theta clearly known comes between minus 1 and 1 so one thing we should remember that sin theta always take value between minus 1 and 1 how the variation comes that variation is totally depending on your y so y here is 0 so it will 0 here it will be 1 then it will be minus 1 then 0 and then uh, sorry this will be y is minus 1 and then it's 0 i'll start 0 1 0 minus 1 and then 0 so this way the variation goes for sin theta so this is the variation curve for sin theta this sin theta curve has decided that its maximum value will be 1 and minimum value will be minus 1 one more thing will complete here that is the graph of sin theta so when you want the graph of sin theta we can plot it easily what that graph says just check 0 this will be pi by 2 here it will go pi here it will go 3 pi by 2 and it is 2 pi here it is 1 and here it is minus 1 now think about it at zero angle the value is 0 so it will be here at pi by 2 it reaches to 1 so at pi by 2 it reaches 1 when you reach to pi the value has gone to 0 at pi the value becomes 0 3 pi by 2 the value will gone to minus 
and then at 2 pi it will become 0. I am not plotting in between, only the shape I am going to tell. And if you want the exact shape to be taken, you can take the values of 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, then you will proceed. I will tell you the outline, simple. So the curve will go like this. This will be the curve we have called as sine curve. So sine curve will be like this. After that, if you go further, further means I'll take one more round now. 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, then 2 pi plus pi by 2. Next result will be 2 pi plus pi by 2, then 2 pi plus pi, then 2 pi plus 3 pi by 2. And then come out to be 4 pi. So now it will come pi 2 pi plus pi by 2. Where it will go? 0 to 1. So it will start from 0 to 1 again. Then 1 to 0 again. Then 0 to minus 1 again. Just check here. And then this. So this way you will be having your sine curve. You can go it further this side or further that side. There is no problem. You are finding that this curve is not going to break at all. So this will be a continuous curve. This curve will be continuous. Continuous means without break or without lifting your pen or pencil, you can draw it. So this will be a continuous curve. What is its maximum value? Already known 1 and this is minus 1. That also you know. One more thing note here. After 2 pi, whatever shape here, the shape is coming here also. That means after 2 pi, it will repeat because its quadrant again going to repeat the same way. First round 2 pi, then next round 2 pi, then 2 pi. So after every 2 pi, it is changing its, uh, just repeating its value. So it is called periodic function. Periodic means the function which repeat after a certain interval. Periodic hai, kitne period pe hai? 2 pi ke baad apne aapko repeat kar raha. So it's a periodic function, 2 pi. It is a function continuous, it's a function periodic. How the variation goes, I told this. So sine curve, I told you, it's a continuous function, it's periodic one, what is maximum value, what is minimum value, everything will be known about sine function. Next one, we'll be starting with cos function.